Warning. Channel Robozoid contains adult language, adult content, strong opinions, and verbal brutality. Viewer discretion is advised. On leaving his leadership post in the Senate, let's watch. Introspection that accompanies the grieving process. Perhaps it is God's way of reminding you of your own life's journey to reprioritize the impact of the world that we will all inevitably leave behind. I turned 82 last week. <clears throat> the end of my contributions are closer than I'd prefer. Burr. My career in the United States Senate began amidst the Reagan Revolution. Burr. The truth is, when I got here, I was just happy if anybody remembered my name. I think back to my first days in the Senate with deep appreciation for the time that helped shape my view of the world. I'm unconflicted about the good within our country and the irreplaceable role we play as the leader of the free world. It's why I worked so hard to get the national security package passed earlier this month. Believe me, I know the politics within my party at this particular moment in time. I have many faults. Misunderstanding politics is not one of them. What's up, everybody? It is I, the Robozoid, your semi-likable and occasionally tolerable curmudgeon of the YouTube airwaves. Um, well, let's see. Still on location. Uh, just got out of the shower, so I don't look as good as I should. But that aside, hey, the good news is at least Mitch McConnell is finally stepping down. There is good reason for rejoicing. After all, this is the same rhino who stood in the way of Trump on countless occasions when it came to things like boarding, building the border wall, uh, when it came to uh, other things like, uh, well, pardoning certain uh, certain people who didn't, didn't who didn't deserve to be imprisoned in the first place, and also uh, attempting to pardon the uh, those who were arrested on you know what day for storm for supposedly storming the Capitol. But, uh, you know, quite frankly, I am hoping that those people will be released. I mean, Benny Johnson seems to think so, but I need more convincing as always. I mean, remember, a lot of these other guys on YouTube, of course, they're just, they're just blind optimists who just think everything is all sunshine and kittens and everything's going to be resolved. Well, life doesn't work out that way. And let's face it, Life sure didn't work out that way for for Moonshine Mitch, the, the gobbler who stood in the way of Trump on countless occasions. I mean, let's face it here. The guy has basically gone out of his way to try and stop Trump at every occasion and on with every piece of legislation that he's tried to pass. Now, you'll remember, of course, that... <clears throat> that McConnell was doing all the freezing on Stan was on behind the podium. He was doing all that freezing and just uh, having a stroke, a mini stroke, which no one seemed to give a damn about. So nobody did anything about it. Nobody said, Mitch, you ought to think about stepping down then. You're getting too old to do this. Well, he is too old. Now he's 82 years old. And well, let's face it. Here's how the basic debate about his age went down. And there was much rejoicing. So Moonshine Mitch is finally stepping down. Yes, sir, he is actually quitting as the head of the Republican Party. Well, the guy is 82 years old, and, well, he quite frankly belongs in the very same rest home that Biden belongs in. Now, I'm going to show you some footage of Tucker way back when he was on Fox News. I don't think the footage is that old. I think it's about maybe a couple years old, perhaps, uh, just before they fired him for telling the truth about you-know-what day. But in any case, well, here's Tucker with uh, the reason why 
they should ditch Mitch and why it's time, it's well past time for him to go. That neither man, particularly Julian Assange, we don't know if this is true, is likely to get a pardon. Why? Well, apparently, because Republicans in the Senate, and by Republicans in the Senate, we mean Mitch McConnell of Kentucky, the leader of Republicans in the Senate, has sent word over to the White House, if you pardon Julian Assange, we are much more likely to convict you in an impeachment trial. Now, is it legal to hold that over a president's head? We're not lawyers. We don't know. It's certainly wrong. But more than that, it tells you everything about their priorities. At a time when this country in some ways is coming apart, we're at a pivot point in American history. And if you're watching this show, you probably feel pretty threatened, and for good reason. There are people on the other channels saying they're going to hunt you down like a terrorist. At that moment, what is Mitch McConnell, your designated defender in the United States Senate, worrying about? He's worrying about protecting the uniparty in Washington, not his party, his party. Okay, we heard the good side of the whole thing with Tucker. Now let's get to one of the real rhinos behind why Trump couldn't get anything accomplished and someone who, well, pretty much sided with uh, Moonshine Mitch on many occasions, and that, of course, is the turncoat leftist rhino, um, the neocon, the neocon who tried his hand at running for president about, oh, 12 years ago. And that guy, of course, is Mittens Romney. Preserving their uh, geographic integrity and, and life. You're gonna have a lot of people uh, who lose their life as Russia runs across uh, Ukraine. And, and that will make it very clear to people around the world that you really can't trust America's work because we made a commitment in Thanks a lot, uh, asshole. To, uh, nice to way to sell out your own country, Ukraine, help defend the dickhead. Ukraine if they were attacked. And that's what's happening. And if we walk away from that... Yeah, I'm uh, changing your name to Europe Dick say, McConnell because hey, uh, you are such a dick. Us. We're not going to be with them if there's something they want to do in the Pacific, for instance. Let them deal with China. Let America deal with China and the issues there. So we're, we're strong uh, globally in part because of our friends. Uh, we, we Which have we don't have anymore, we thanks to guys like you. Chinese, Chinese don't have the kinds of friends we have. Well, we have friends in part because we stand together. And if we don't stand with our friends, we will lose strength. And that will ultimately come to hurt us. <coughs> kinds of friends we have. Well, we have friends in part because we stand together. And if we don't stand with our friends, we will lose strength. And that will ultimately come to hurt us. So you disagree with your colleague, Senator J.D. Vance, who is making the argument that $60 billion more dollars won't fundamentally change Ukraine's stance on the battlefield. Yeah, that that is an interesting point. It just That's all you care about is the battlefield. All right, sending more of our troops to die battle, for no what reason. It does do is communicate to the entire world that we honor our commitments, and we. I've had enough friends, of this bastard, will, Sister Mary. You want to chime in? <laughs> you are a colossal dick. We have to endure more of this. I suppose we do. And then we'll draw our own conclusions on why it's time to ditch Mitch. And it would be nice if this guy would step down now, but why wait till November? You got nothing else to look forward to, buddy. I mean, you might as well join Joe Biden in the retirement home for aged and useless politicians. <laughs> that's the way it should be going. But that's, the, that's not the way it's going to go, because things never go the way of the American citizen. Things always go the way of the minority, the illegal alien, or even one of those, uh, you know, uh, fairy people. That's just the way it always goes. Because, you know, our freedom is dead. This country is dead. Just accept it. You know, Mitch was a neocon who came along at the same time that Reagan was around. And I'm not going to fool you here. Reagan was also a neocon. He really was when you think about it. Well, the 1986 amnesty bill... Uh, for closure of farms, that sort of thing. All the stuff that Pawn Vanity never talks about. Well, this has been the Robozoid saying, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. And give him, and also be sure to subscribe to this channel. It's good for you, it's good for me, it helps the channel out, yada, 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 all that good stuff. And, of course, also, if you are subscribed, make sure that you're still subscribed, because YouTube does have a nasty habit of unsubscribing people without their prior knowledge. Also, of course, keep in mind that, well, wokeness is weakness. 
something I think we all know by now, but, well, let's face it, Moonshine Mitch and Mittens and Mittens Romney sure as hell don't. Also remember that we need to have the power to the people back, not the politicians. And, of course, remember that we need to have the power to the music in the streets, and that is the music of our voices in uprise and revolt against the rhino establishment. Peace.